Hey y'all, it's Dan with LivingCooper.com. I've got a Coop Simple Review. Real quick, not even 10 minute recipe. Pops came across this at Mercola.com. They're tasty chocolate and avocado truffles. Chocolate fat bomb truffles actually is what they're called. Uh, real quick recipe, no cooking involved. Little hand mixer. It's avocado, co cacao powder, coconut oil, honey, vanilla, and we coated them in powdered sugar because we didn't add stevia powder or stevia or any of the other sweeteners that were recommended and it needed sweetener. So keep watching and see how we got here to the white version because if you check out the website, they're not white. Uh, chocolate fat bombs and Truffles. the recipe did not call for powdered sugar it called for you rolling them in the cacao powder but I tasted a little bit of them and I decided because we didn't add stevia we needed some sugar on them so they're no longer as healthy but they need sugar so mm -hmm. I got pops in here to taste test them with me if you're into artificial sweetener you might like the stevia we don't like artificial sweetener we don't at all we don't like so we want to die full sugared up. There you go. All right, so I guess we're gonna test drive this Pick your chocolate, poison. chocolate avocado truffle recipe. Oh, how'd you find a smaller one than me? Oh, look, you're so nice. Sometimes. All right, here we go, y'all. Oh, I need more sugar. Oh. Wow. Interesting. I would say it's not bad. I mean, it's. It's not bad. It's but mostly the bitter from the cacao. It's, it's like a, straight it's like up. A bitter chocolate. It's so. very dark, bitter chocolate. If you like the artificial sweetener, it might be more sweet, or probably could have put more honey in it, and that may have helped. I mean, there is no sweet other than the powdered sugar. Powdered sugar, yeah, you can't taste any honey in it. That's for sure. Maybe that would made them maybe like way, way smaller with powdered sugar around them. Yeah, like, okay. little, like little drops or something. The M&M, like, peanut M&M size. Like single bite size versus kind of a two bite size. They're really yummy and the texture is great, but the bitter chocolate is, and I love dark chocolate, but that is a bitter. But they're healthy, so we added powdered sugar. And they were fun and easy to make. One bowl, a couple beaters, yeah. 10 minutes in the freezer. Makes a quick healthy snack. I did a, a chocolate avocado cookie in a in the blender, I have a recipe for, and I would have done this in the blender, in the, the blender? food processor, food processor, or the Ninja. Would have been easier, actually, than the hand mixer. Well, maybe we'll have to make those uh, cookie recipe for them. They were a big hit. Well, what do you think? Are you gonna surprise the guys at church with those tonight? No. Are you gonna eat all those? No. And you said we should heat them up, habanero them up? Yeah, we can put some habanero powder or some 
Carolina Reaper. Put some Carolina Reaper powder in them, and really any kind of spices, you can spice them up a little bit. That might help with the bitter of the dark chocolate. Yeah, because Carolina Reaper is kind of a sweet pepper. It's good with chocolate. Yeah, it goes pretty good with chocolate. I might have to try that. Just a little level do you though. Know. Hey, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Hope you guys try this recipe out, and tell us what you think about it. You, you might like it. I don't know. Very bitter dark chocolate. Yeah. So please like, share, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Check out our other videos, check out our channel, check out our blog over at livingcooper.com, and we'll see you next time. Keep watching.